now the reason why I'm leading with Crobat and not Lugia is because he's starting out with Hitmon Top. Now all three Hitmons have very, very good de uh, special defense and not so much defense, so it's better to hit them with physical hits. That and Fly has more power than Extra Sensory. And uh, while I believe Crobat has the same attack as Lugia's special attack, uh, it's, it's been on my team for quite a while, so it has a lot more EVs, so that makes Crobat by far the best choice for the job. So I'm going to be spamming Fly against this guy until it goes down. It should take only one hit, because as I said, the Hitmons don't have a lot of HP, and they don't have much in the way of defense either. Oh! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was about to say Fly missed, but <laughs> it decided to use Counter again, and now it's spamming counter like crazy. Wow! <laughs> and it even used quick attack while um, while I was in the air. Brilliant move by the AI here. Amazing. What was the AI thinking? Anyway, up next, Bruno's actually being smart and not sending out a Pokemon weak to flying. Instead, it's Onyx, which I'm gonna have to take down with the uh, Lapras. Now I'm not sure I'm going to be able to outspeed because Onyx, yeah, it had pretty respectable uh, speed, more than Lapras at any rate, and super effective uh, Rock Slide actually didn't do too much because uh, Onyx has virtually non-existent attack. Surf should be enough to put it down for the count. There we go. So only three fighter fighters left. The Hitmonlee is first, so I'm going to be sending back Crobat to do the same thing I did before uh, with Hitmon Top. Hopefully there's going to be a bit less of a fuss because, uh, well, the, the fact that all the problems that I had, uh, they all came from the fact that Fly missed. I, I lucked out there by not having to take any damage whatsoever. Blaze Kick. Uh, it's, uh, you know what? It's always fun when you use Fly to see at least one move in uh, your opponent's... Uh, Move set before going down, and well, Blaze Kick uh, should be a foregone conclusion for any Hitmon Lee. Hitmon Chan is next. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be keeping that Crobat in once again for the exact same reason, but I gotta wear, be wary of the elemental punches in case Fly decides to miss again. Fortunately, it's just a 5% chance of that happening. There we go. Fly connects, and since I believe it has the same HP and defense as the other two, should go down just as well. There we go. So now, the last one is going to be Machamp. Now, bad idea to keep a Pokemon with Fly in there because of no guard. Then that would effectively be giving it a free turn. This is why I will resort to Lugia to try and take this thing down. Now, let's try Aeroblast because it's a smidge stronger than Extrasensory with the Twisted Spoon and it even has that critical chance that could save me. Let's see how much it does. Oh, just that? I thought it, I thought it would be closer to dying than that. Oh, well. Uh, at least, okay, so the citrus berries out of the way so you won't be using any full restores. Rock slide. Great. How much damage? Ow! Holy shit! That, that, this is the second time today that I use Aeroblast hoping to get a critical and... The opponent gets hacks. Really, really bad day so far for me in terms of hacks. At least I managed to bring it down with extra sensory because I didn't feel like tempting fate with Aeroblast's 5% chance of missing. But, okay. Now I think I'm going to have to heal my Pokemon uh, after this because uh, there are still two battles left and they are far harder than this. Now Raikou's gonna go in the lead for reasons I'm gonna explain after I'm done healing my team. So let's see. I'm gonna start with the Moo Moo Milk for um, Lugia. Took the hit like a champ because uh, Machamp just has monster attack. So I'm really glad it managed to survive that critical hit. Okay, now I'm gonna go with the. Um, Super Potion on the Lapras, just to heal off the damage. Um, okay, there we go, and you know what? I have 12 regular potions, so why not uh, round out uh, Lugia's healing with that? Okay, so it's missing 2 HP, but uh, I don't think anyone's gonna whine about that. 
Now, the fourth member of the Elite Four, Karen. She uses Dark-type Pokémon, which I'm not prepared to take on other than with Crobat's U-Turn, which is uh, not stabbed, by the way, so it's not going to be that strong. So I'm just going to go with uh, the strongest neutral attacks that uh, I can use and hope for the best. So this is why I went for Raikou instead of Crobat. She's starting out with Umbreon, which is a pure dark type. Fortunately, I think it's the only pure dark type on her team, so um, I, I I lucked out by having it by having it at the beginning, but because uh, it's her lowest level too at 42, and I got a critical hit. Well, I was talking about uh, hope, hopefully getting lucky. I managed to get lucky, but unfortunately, I'm starting to double team. Okay, there we go. I, w I was really worried once again that it would manage to stack a few of them, but luckily that didn't happen. So, up next we are going to have... Uh, who is it? Gengar! Oh wow! This is a catch, because Gengar risks getting killed back, Lugia as well, so I am just going to go with uh, Raikou and use Raikou's own Shadow Ball to hopefully Kill it! Come on! Kill it! I'm hoping this is enough, because even though it's not particularly bulky, this Shadow Ball isn't stab-powered. And Fail Blast connects, of course! We can't have Fail Blast miss at a critical moment like this, can we? 52 damage! That's, oh, that's honestly a lot less than I expected. And Gengar's HP was just high enough to have, uh, to, to avoid dealing with, uh, full restores. So, up next, Houndoom! We're gonna send in Lapras for this one. Hopefully, it doesn't get too much of a beating. Remember, it's ice type, cancels the resistance water would have against fire. But it's still my best option against this. Uh oh! Nasty plot! I better kill this thing fast, otherwise, it's gonna chew through my team! Oh my god! Please kill it! KILL IT! KILL IT! No! Oh, God, at least it's got the Citrus Berry, so I don't have to deal with the full restores, but God damn it! now I'm having to take a plus two flamethrower to the face, but Lapras is bulky. It can hang on. SURVIVE, LAPRAS, SURVIVE, PLEASE! Yeah! Ah! I survived, but I got burned! I don't care! I managed to take down that Hound Doom before it managed to sweep my entire team. Way to go, Lapras! You took that hit like a champ. Which apparently is uh, an expression that's very hated on Smogon for whatever reason. Vile Plume! This is time to bring back Anti into the fray. And, um... No, there's another one left after this. Uh, so, Vile Plume. It's a rather slow Pokemon when there's no sunny day. So let's see if I can one-hit KO it. Uh, it, uh the, those things earlier on were easy to one-hit KO, but they lack the bulk this thing ha I just had to say it! And now Stun Spore connects! God damn it, I'm getting hacked through the ass! First Focus Blast hits, then I get hacked by fucking Flamethrower of all things, then Stun Spore hits. If I win this, I have been given no free passes. God! Okay. Oh, and now it kills in one hit! I hate this game so much sometimes! I got a low damage roll the first time, and that's what got my Entei paralyzed. I'm gonna have to waste an item to heal it just because of a low damage roll! But anyway, Murkrow's the last one, and it's unevolved at that, of course, since Honchkrow isn't in the Johto decks. So we're gonna have to make, to make do with the Murkrow, and lucky for me, this is the pre-prankster days, too. So, Thunderbolt should be able to one-hit KO. There we go, Murkrow's never been about bulk. But regardless of all these considerations, the Elite Four is now beaten, meaning there's only one battle left against the champion. But before that, we're going to have our mandatory all-you-need-is-love pep talk, as if we didn't have enough of that for today. Oh, God try to win with the Pokemon they love best. Yeah, try telling that to a Smogonite. Try fighting a Smogonite with a team of uh, 
piece of crap Pokemon just because you like them. Raikou's staying in the lead because the champion's lead is a Gyarados. Paralyze is he... Pa there, there I go again! I was about to say Paralyze Heal, but to say Paralyze is Paralysis, stupid. Anyway, this is my only Burn Heal, so I'm gonna have to spend it on the Lapras. Here we go, Super Potion on a Raikou. It's almost full. Once again, a few HP missing. I don't think anyone's gonna make a fuss about that. And now, we're gonna be healing a Lapras with uh, one more Super Potion and uh, also a Moo Moo Milk. Wow, am I glad that Lapras managed to take that plus two flamethrower. Otherwise, uh, I would have been in deep, deep, deep trouble. So, now that my team is healed, it's time to move on to the champion. Who might it be? Well, I already spoiled it earlier in the game. You know who it is. It's Lance. And, uh, too bad in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, we don't get this uh, ominous silence that's right before the battle. Instead, the music continues. It's actually sort of a shame because I really liked, you know, the fact that there was nothing to hear at all, but oh well. Let's get started! One last battle before the championship is ours! And as I said, his lead is going to be Gyarados. Therefore, it's a good idea to lead with a strong and fast electric type, such as Raikou. It's gonna outspeed. There we go. And obviously you know it's not gonna survive. I've killed more than enough Gyaradoses in this LP series to know what happens when you get them anywhere when you get them anywhere near an electric move. There we go. So who is next? Oh, it's one of his three Dragonites. So I'm gonna send in Lugia just to be sure that I outspeed for the for the one hit KO with Ice Beam because Lapras is slow and might get hit with something it doesn't like. So let's see, do I outspeed? Yes! I outspeed his ace! I outspeed his ace Dragonite, guys! This is gonna be great! This is What? Are you ki oh, I get it. No, I don't get it. It doesn't have multi-scale. How is this possible? This is ridiculous. I never expected that to happen. How is this possible? This is ridiculous. And this is why I was making such a big fuss about giving that Lugia some EVs. Because something like that would happen with its May offensive stats, but I never expected that to happen! To survive an Ice Beam with so much health, and of course it had to take a hit from Outrage too, at least it took the hit like a pro with um, 89 damage taken, Aerodactyl, I'm gonna go with Raikou to um, try and outspeed it, though uh, since Raikou lost out to that Crobat in terms of speed later on, and Aerodactyl has the same base speed as Crobat, I'm not expecting miracles here. Rock Slide, and by the way, this is why I didn't send Lapras in, because it's weak to Rock Slide, at least Raikou. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I'm gonna have to take another Rock Slide to the face. Please don't flinch this time, else I'm not even gonna be able to get off a Thunderbolt. Okay, there we go. But seriously, that Dragonite, man! What is that thing made of? Oh well, at least I one-shot that Aerodactyl with its paper-thin defenses, but there are two more Dragonites on the way! Okay, here's one, so I'm gonna head back to um, Lugia, I guess, since I know one of the two level 49s has Thunder, and I want to preserve my uh, Lapras for the other one, and I don't know which one this is, so let's try Ice Beam, hopefully it's gonna... It's gonna, it's gonna go down a little bit faster. Let's see how much damage this does. Wow, all the way in the red? This means that the other one... Oh, and this is the one with Thunder, meaning Lapras is gonna be more or less safe against the other one. And... Oh, wow! Just ha what, held on with 7 HP. So, uh, full restore. Yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. This is why I, I was gonna keep pressing uh, with Ice Beam. And since I'm faster, I'm going to try and go for the KO next turn. But seriously, that level 50 Dragonite must have been stacked with HP and a special defense EVs for that to happen. And another full restore! Great! 